Oh, oh, oh. oh look! A hired hey. two electric boogaloo. <laughs> a jam handy to the rescue. A jam handy. <laughs> no employees were killed during the making of this film. Young fellas today won't work the way we did 11 years ago. Previously on maybe Hire. Maybe not, son. And then again, maybe they're working harder than you think. That may be today wonderful, but I think you're wrong. You were a pretty good man when you first started in this business. And you probably were. But you owe a lot of your success to the way Harry Carpenter worked with you. Give him hell, but Harry. But you started straight. He used to tell me about the mistakes you made. You may not have known it, but you really served an apprenticeship. Every work, man does. Booze, work. In every business. Yeah, I suppose so. Remember how closely he worked with you the first year? <laughs> he used to tell me about it. He ripped you a new one every yeah, day. I remember how he used to talk to me about my prospects. Your prostate? Oh, I was to handle some of them. But you know, I always thought that that was because he knew you so well. Maybe he had more of a personal interest in me. Nonsense. He hated you. Not Harry. Uh, He's having an episode. He worked that hard with every man he ever hired. He got sent to jail for it. enough <laughs> to realize that he knew more about selling cars than any man on his sales force. And that it took his direction and leadership to get the most out of his men. Ah, flying elves are back. And I don't believe men have changed much since then. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh. How about this Jimmy? Doesn't he work? Doesn't he get in for the morning sales meeting? Hmm? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's always punctual. He never misses. But take his prospects, for example. Please. Well, I looked them over the other day, and it's just about the poorest list I've ever seen. I remember one of the first things that Harry drilled into me... Was Harry. ...the importance oh. of having a good list of prospects. Yes? Then he showed me how to go about getting it, how to keep it up, how to cover the list and how often. Yeah, he performed puppet shows well, for I me. The importance of prospects drilled into me from the very first day I started. Oh, ah, he's, he's evil. evil. Mm -hmm. Has Jimmy? Has Jimmy what? Had the importance of prospects pounded into him since the first day he started to work. Well, I've told him how important they are. Yeah, but have you shown him how, when, and where to get them? Have you checked on him every day to see that he did it right? Have you hugged him? Dad, I've got other work to do. Harry wasn't too busy to make a good man out of you. Uh, you still uh, got a little... Uh, hmm. Say, I think I'm beginning to see what you mean. I'm beginning to sober up and you're scaring me. I wonder. Uh, wah, 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 wonder. Say, maybe that's the reason I haven't had very much luck with Jimmy. I'm gonna dance. Well, with Henderson, that other fellow I hired last year. You know, he looked pretty good to me, too, Dad, when I first hired him. <laughs> Who doesn't? Certainly would be worth a try. Yes, sir. Don't hit I'm me! Think about the time I'm spending on other things right now might be costing me a whole lot more than I think. Ooh. Men need leadership. Leadership is important. Oh, I've always known that, Dad, but I never thought about it in connection with my own business. But starting Monday morning... Don't touch me! I'm going to stir things up a bit. I'm going to show these fellas what leadership really means. <laughs> and then we'll see... We're going to have leadership the way my old man told me. You put a handkerchief on your head. You spotted imaginary elves. You rock on the porch all night. <laughs> sales are the most important thing in this business. Seeing as how we're salesmen and all. We're closer together than we have in the past in order to get more sales. But first, martinis. Well, that's all for this meeting, but I want to check with each one of you personally before you go out this morning. Jimmy, I'll talk mm -hmm. with you first. Because you've got the most problems. The meeting's adjourned. Jimmy, from what you say... I'd put these two away for two weeks. Whack them. Whack them good. Your time is too valuable to be spending on them right now. Yeah. Okay. And then I'd take these four in this order. Uh, boss, will you help me with my soapbox racer? And serve your time in covering them. Now, have you got any others up in this end of time when you get up there? Uh, no, sir. I don't believe I have. All right. Here's a lollipop, Jimmy. I'll give you the names of three Chevrolet owners who live up that way. Crush them. And all three of them should be about ready to buy. Meanwhile, Elliot Ness and his untouchables head for a speakeasy in Berwyn. 